Hello friends, today we'll be discussing a very important and useful topic. Today we'll be discussing the interpretation or analysis of the results of a treadmill test, which is a very common question which a lot of people ask us. A lot of people have their treadmill tests undergone and they uh, send us their reports, they message us their reports, they uh, are confused about their results, they ask their doctors, they ask other doctors, they take second opinions regarding what is the value of the treadmill test, whether the test is positive, negative, what is a positive and a negative treadmill test, what is a met, what is uh, the effort tolerance of the patient, whether they do need to get an angiography done, whether they do not need to get an angiography done, all are the questions which regularly come into the minds of the people who get an angiography done, who get a treadmill test done. So this is the questions which we will be discussing today. What is a positive, negative, inconclusive treadmill test? When do we consider it positive? When do we need to do an angiography? What are the different types of responses? Hypertensive, hypotensive response, chronotropic competence assessment. These are the things which we will be going to discuss in this topic. First of all, what is a positive, negative and inclusive, inclusive report? Basically, treadmill test is a stress test in which we ask the patient to walk briskly on a treadmill. Treadmill is like a routine treadmill which is kept at our and uh, gym places or at our home places where the treadmill roller keeps on rolling and the patient is made to walk briskly over the treadmill and every three minutes the uh, steep slope of the treadmill will also increase and the speed of the machine will also increase and we see how much time the patient can exercise on the treadmill with every passing minute or two minutes or three minutes cycle one ECG will be printed and we can comparatively analyze the ECG reports to see what are the changes in the ECG reports as compared to the baseline which was present when the patient started the exercise. Initially, one recording is done uh, at resting position and one recording is done uh, in hyperventilating condition before the treadmill is started and then the first stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage, each is printed. And then we do a recovery phase analysis in which the recovery ECG is printed and for a recovery stage, every minute one ECG is printed so that we comparatively have an analysis of how rapidly the ECG changes appeared on the treadmill and how rapidly the ECG changes disappeared on the treadmill. The treadmill is considered positive when the patient is having a significant ECG changes as compared to what was present on the baseline and uh, the changes are considered significant if multiple leads are showing the ECG changes especially the lead V5 which is considered the most significant lead. Uh, if at all the patient is having chest pain while walking on the treadmill, if at all the patient have any sustained arrhythmia while walking on the treadmill or if at all the BP is falling while the patient was walking on the treadmill, normally the BP should rise while the patient is walking on the treadmill. But if the BP continues to fall, these are the points which will make a treadmill test positive. If none of these things are happening, the patient is walking rapidly on the treadmill and has achieved the target heart rate. Target heart rate means how much rate is expected for that patient to achieve. This is calculated as 220 minus age of the patient. For example, if the, page of the age of the patient is 40 years old, then the target heart rate for that person will be 220 minus 40, which is 180. And we expect the patient to achieve at least 85% of the target heart rate. Without that, we cannot interpret the treadmill to be negative or positive usually because if at all the patient has not exercised enough, then we cannot say that we have done an adequate stress on the heart. And based on this, it is difficult to interpret whether the patient is having a normal or an abnormal treadmill. Inconclusive treadmill means that if at all there are some changes on the treadmill, but there are some baseline EC changes, the patient has walked not for a long period of time or the heart rate has not been achieved. Or if there are some changes, but not very conclusive changes, then we can consider the report to be doubtful or inconclusive. Positive and strongly positive treadmill tests where there are gross changes and significant uh, risk factors are there and angiography should be done. If at all the treadmill test has mild changes or negative, you can ignore it for the time being and keep the patient under follow-up and later on if the treadmill is uh, repeated after one year or so, then the changes are normal, then we do not do an angiography. If the changes increase or the patient condition deteriorates, then we do an angiography. If at all the patient has not achieved the target heart rate, then uh, we can still give the report as positive if the GC changes are there, but we cannot give the report as negative if the patient is uh, not having adequate uh, done adequate amount of exercise on the treadmill. What is the importance of METS? METS is the metabolic equivalent or the amount of exercise which the patient has done. If the, It means how much times the normal amount of effort the patient can tolerate. For example, if the patient is at resting condition, it will be one met. 
if the patient is walking slowly it will be 3 or 4 minutes if the patient is walking briskly it will be 6 or 7 minutes so depending on the level of exercises the it is a quantification of the amount of stamina which the patient is having based on the meds which the patient has achieved we can tell to the patient what is the effort tolerance of the patient what is the long term risk to the patient what are the chances of the patient having a long term problem or not having a long term problem based on how much meds the patient has achieved on the treadmill what happens when the patient develops a tachycardia on an ecg routinely the heart rate will increase while the patient is walking on a treadmill this is the normal response the heart rate will go up to 110 to 120 or 150 beats per minute depending on the level of exercise and the stamina of the patient if the patient develops an arrhythmia while on the treadmill then it is considered if at all the patient is having a significant arrhythmia and significant risk factors it can be considered a positive response but sometimes there might be some conduction abnormalities also which can lead to a positive treadmill so in these cases we may or may not do an angio but in most cases of sustained arrhythmia where the patients are having a ventricular tachycardia then an, uh, angiography should be done if at all some ectopics are there on an ECG or mild EC disturbances are there on an ECG or some non-sustained uh, tachycardia is there or a supraventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation is there, then the interpretation will be entirely different and uh, based on what are the risk factor profile of the patient and the eco report of the patient, we can give the interpretation to the patient and all these cases will not be considered to be a positive treadmill test, but a ventricular tachycardia, if it is present on the treadmill test, it can be considered to be a positive response. What happens when the patient develops a conduction block on the treadmill test or a complete heart block on the treadmill test? Usually the heart rate should increase on the treadmill but when the conduction system is defective then the patient might develop a conduction block while on the treadmill test. All conduction blocks are not considered positive or negative but they might be an indication that the patient is having an abnormal conduction response and these patients might require a pacemaker. There is something known as a chronotropic response which means that the patients on exercise the heart rate should increase and after stopping the exercise the heart rate should decrease. If this normal response is not achieved it means that the conduction system of the heart is defective and the patient might be a candidate for a pacemaker in future. Although all the patients with a poor chronotropic competence do not require a pacemaker but sometimes you might require based on how bad is your conduction system and how bad is your uh, conduction block which you are already having. What is a hypertensive response? Usually it is a uh, normal for the patient's blood pressure to rise every stage of treadmill. Uh, some amount of increased blood pressure might be there but sometimes the blood pressure might shoot up very high levels and the patient might uh, develop a BP response right from maybe 130-140 millimeters of mercury to maybe 230-240 millimeters of mercury. So this is uh, considered a hypertensive response. It will not be interpreted as a positive response but it is slightly abnormal and the patient might require aggressive hypertensive medicine if there is a hypertensive response. Similarly, the patient might sometimes have a hypotensive response. Normally, the BP should increase while the patient is on a treadmill, but sometimes the patient might have a decreased blood pressure and the BP might fall more than 10 millimeters while on a treadmill. This is considered a positive response because if the patient is having a low BP while exercising and the baseline BP was one. 40 and suddenly the BP has dropped to 130 or 120 then that would be considered to be significant and it means that the heart has developed so much amount of ischemia that the pump function has deteriorated and dropped and the blood pressure of the patient has dropped. In absence of any other variable which has caused this problem it can be interpreted as a positive response and the patient can be uh, considered for an angiography. Uh, what are the indications for a valvular heart problem? Uh, in valvular heart disease patients we usually see the effort tolerance of the patient and the stress tolerance of the patient. If at all the patients are having good stamina, we might consider the patient uh, to continue on medical management and not go for surgery in the near future. If the response is not good, then we might consider the patient for a near surgery. Uh, what is the response in a WPW syndrome patient? Usually the WPW syndrome patients, the abnormal pathway or WPW pathway on the system will disappear while the patient is exercising. If the pathway does not disappear it means that the uh, pathway conduction system is very strong and the patient is more likely to require an EP study RF ablation if he is having this sort of a response. So, so in this topic we have discussed what are a positive and a negative response on a treadmill and what is the meaning of this. The requirement of an angiography in a treadmill test that is a separate topic and we will discuss that in a separate video. This interpretation topic we have discussed only what is the interpretation of various parameters on a treadmill.
if at all you have any topic uh, comments queries or suggestion pertaining to this topic or any other topics on which you want us to make more videos upon or any other topics uh, about to a cardiology you can write to us about them in the comment section below and we'll try to answer them all and then this is dr navin agrawal and i thank you all for a very patient listening and i hope that this topic has brought some knowledge to you the people who are new to my channel i would request you to subscribe to my channel as this will give us a lot of inspiration and motivation to continue the channel in future and the people who are not interested in a huge amount of technical details i recommend them to refer to our youtube shorts which we are uploading on a regular basis on our channel these shorts are available on my specific playlist pertaining to that particular topic you can go to a playlist on my channel and select the topic on which you want more details about and these uh, playlists are divided in these uh, are containing those videos you can click on the individual videos on which you want details and you can also see the youtube shorts which are also added to this playlist